Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, uh, bringing you a classic lesson right now. Reminds me of like a pirate sea chanty or something like that. But anyway, uh, classic tune, nice, easy chords, but, you know, some kind of cool little uh, strummy strums for you. Uh, real quick, I uh, really appreciate your continued support. So I would love it if you subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel of mine. This is where I'm going to be from here on out. And, uh, you know, liking the videos, leaving comments, all that stuff is really the, the greatest way uh, to, to show support. And I really appreciate that. I really do. But anyway, let's zoom in. We'll break this one down right now. Here we go. All right. So this has that, uh, I don't know, sea chanty pirate vibe to it, I guess you could say. Uh, I remember my dad playing this all the time. It was one of his three songs that he played on guitar when I was growing up. Uh, it's all the nice, easy beginner chords or the open chords, and it's got this kind of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, a one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's got this where you drew, you know, kind of rake your strings over in this like arpeggio kind of vibe where you're picking the notes out of the chords. But let's let's do the chords first, and then we'll work on that rhythm. So we've got one, two, three. Uh, so A minor, second, second, first, two. to C, and they're very similar. The index finger gets to stay. A minor, C, in. Then we go D. Then F, and there's a different ways to play F. Um, I think the way I like on acoustic is obviously the bar chord's always great. A lot of people have problems with that. You know, I hear from students all the time. So ring finger on the third of the A, pinky on the third of the D, middle on the second of the G, and then index on the first of the B. And if you can cover the high E on the first, cool. If you let the open high E ring out, that's okay. And if it's muted, that's okay as well. But we want to avoid the low E on that. It's very, you know, it's very much just like the bar chord, but instead of worrying about the whole bar, your index comes over here to the first fret. I don't know if you noticed that. And then we need an E major chord which is just like A minor, but scooted up a string here. Second, second, first on the G. Those are the only chords you need, so check it out. C, then D, then F, then A minor, then C again, but it skips over to E major. Two, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, one, Four, five, six, one, two, three, 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 four, five, six, A minor, C, then D, then F, then A minor again, A minor, C, now E major. A minor again. A minor, C, then D, then F again. Now, this is, you could call this a turnaround. A minor, E major, A minor, E major. One more time. A minor, C, D, F, A minor. A minor, C, D, F, A minor, E major, A minor, E major, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, E, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, E, 2, 3, 4, 5, minor, C, D, F, A minor. 
minor. B, yes, my dad would do the low tone like that, A minor. B. Except my dad would be that monotone low voice for the whole song. There is a house on New Orleans. Anyway, Schwartz's aren't gifted with the vocals uh, in the genetic pool there. Anyway, next thing we want to do is... Now, when you're working on a rhythm, it's good to uh, stare down at your right hand. There's going to be times where you're studying like a scale or something, and you stare at your hand here. And then when you're working out a rhythm or a picking pattern, you stare there, and you can divide them up. Um, so with the A minor, so I'm hitting the, the bass note. And then I'm laying my pick in to drag it. So I'm A note, and then I drag it, and then I up pick that high E. Across, up pick on the high E, down pick on the B, up pick on the G. Now, if it's easier for you to go and do all down picks, that's fine as well. If you hit the wrong string, wrong note out of that pattern I showed you, that's all right, because all the notes from the chord are still good. Okay, so. I'm just dragging it. I'm not, I'm not strumming it. I'm let, letting there be a little um, resistance against the pick and strings. Two, three, four, five, six. Ah, fail. One, two, three, four, five, six. So with the uh, C chord, you do the exact same thing as A minor. And then with the D, it's the same thing, but we want to start the bass note on, big shock, the D string. And then the F, you could do just like the C. Now, if you're covering that, fine. If it's open high E, that's fine as well. And then with the E major chord, you hit the open E. You 
put them all together. All right, let's try it all together. One more. All right, folks, that was the that was the tune. Uh, classic in the Schwartz household growing up. Uh, anyway, thanks again for your support. And I would appreciate, like I said earlier, uh, subscribing to this channel, leaving comments. Let me know what song you want to learn and you'll liking the videos, all that stuff. I really appreciate it. And uh, not only that, I can't wait to see you again sometime, hopefully real soon. So take care and we'll see you later.